You're listening to the Patenting for Inventors podcast with registered patent attorney, Dr. Adam Diamond, founder of Diamond Patent Law, the number one source for securing your intellectual property needs. Now, here's your host, Adam Diamond. Hello and welcome to the Patenting for Inventors podcast, episode 135, the new patent office patent center. My name is Adam Diamond a registered patent attorney and founder and owner of Diamond Patent Law in Los Angeles, California. Let's get right into it. If you listen to episode 129, and I'm sure you have, that episode was about public payer, P-A-I-R. Payer stands for Patent Application Information Retrieval. And there are two versions of it. There's private payer and there's public payer. Private payer is for your own applications. If you want to review the file history of what you submitted to the patent office, And public payer is if you want to review other patent applications that aren't yours. And why are there two of them? Because when you file a patent application, it generally doesn't become public information until 18 months after you file it. So you don't want just anyone being able to access your application before that 18 months. So you have a login and a password to access your private payer. And then uh, anyone in the public can access public payer by just entering in a patent application number or patent number, and you can get all kinds of information about a patent. You can get more information than just the patent application itself, which you can find on Google Patents or other websites. The payer system will have every single rejection that ever happened, every response by the attorney made, and all kinds of other information. Well, the patent office decided to scrap public payer, so it doesn't exist anymore. So you can forget everything I told you in episode 129. Uh, You actually don't need to forget everything, but they modernized the system so it's no longer called public payer. It's now called Patent Center. You can get to it by going to patentcenter.uspto.gov. Now, really, the information is the same that you can get, but the old public payer system uh, looks like it was created on a GeoCities website. Uh, If you know what I'm talking about, you're probably at least 40 years old minimum. Uh, It just did not look slick at all. The patent office modernized it uh, so it's easier to view. There are drop-down menus that are nicer. There are big, bold boxes that you can click on if you want to do certain things. Uh, The main tabs are the new submission tab, and they broke that down into three subcategories of regular submissions, international applications, patent initiatives. Then there's the drop-down menu of existing submissions where you can upload documents, pay fees, file file corrected applications application data sheets and some other stuff. There's a petitions drop down menu, a post grant menu if you already have a patent granted and there are things that you want to do after it's been granted, like requests for re-exams or reissues. I've talked about all those things in previous episodes, so go back if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you can also do a search if you know the application number, the patent number, the PCT number, the publication number, the international design registration number, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, If you do use this, it's helpful if you make your own login because you can do some extra stuff if you are registered for the system instead of just looking at it as a guest. Now, all of this just came up on August 1st and the old system was retired on July 31st, 2022. So it's really new. In the end, it's not that different from what you could do before, but it's more user-friendly in that you can find things that you might want to do with a patent or patent application more easily in the new system. There are a few new features that are nice, like they um, you can download multiple documents at once in a single PDF, download patent references, download documents in DOCX and XML formats, and a few other things. I would encourage you just to play around with it, find one of your own patents or applications or look up someone else's patent and just put that number in the patent center and see all the information that pops up and all the things that can be done. And if you want help with your patent application, trademarks, copyrights, responding to rejections, appeals, or anything else related to your invention, you can contact me directly through my website at diamondpatentlaw.com. That's D-I-A-M-E-N-T, patentlaw.com. Email me at adam at diamondpatentlaw.com or call me at 424-281-0162. I'm Adam Diamond, and until next time, keep on inventing. Thanks for listening to the Patenting for Inventors podcast. For more information and help with your own intellectual property needs, contact Adam Diamond directly by going to diamondpatentlaw.com. That's D-I-A-M-E-N-T patentlaw.com. Or click the show links to connect by phone, text, or social media.
The contents of this podcast are intended for general informational purposes only. The facts of every legal matter are unique and the content of this podcast should not be construed as offering legal advice for your specific legal situation. The preceding information may be considered an attorney advertisement and does not establish any attorney-client relationship.